Welcome to Shader Forge Volume 2, brought to you by GameTutor.com. Alright, so in this particular lesson, we are going to cover the process of creating a few different types of techniques now. So we're going to actually leave off, or we're going to pick up, I should say, where we left off in Volume 1. And we're going to actually start to cover ways in which we can start to create translucency, right? So it's a view-dependent look. So we're going to create and learn how to set up the uh, shader network for translucency. We're also going to look at how we can create um, and reproduce the effect that you see in ZBrush use, utilizing uh, the mat cap technique. All right, so that's really fun and super awesome. We're going to take a look at ways in which we can produce um, full transparency for our, our models and also look at um, two different ways at producing refraction effects. So we're going to use the built-in refraction um, that Shader Forge gets us. But then we're also going to look at ways in which we can produce a refraction effect using UV techniques. All right. And we're also going to take a look at ways we can utilize the alpha clipping. So if we come down here, I have a toggle effect. And I'm going to hit play here really quick. <clears throat> And this will allow us to dissolve our models away using alpha clipping. All right, so very, very handy. And you see this a lot in, in games nowadays. All right, so and we'll touch really quickly on how to use the new Unity UI system to set up a button that allows us to just toggle this effect. OK. And then finally, we're going to go and take a look at how we can um, actually create a specular texture map without actually having to create a specular texture map in Photoshop. We're going to just pull it all from our uh, diffuse uh, texture map. And we'll uh, learn throughout that process how to manipulate pixels. And we'll learn a little bit about, about the math behind pixels and get a better understanding and um, uh, really just start to learn how we can um, take you know, values from zero to one and just make them do what we want them to do. Because really, at the end of the day, that's all that uh, Photoshop does. And that's all that uh, Substance does, is they're just manipulating pixels. And those pixels are just RGB um, A values. And they all just go from a value from zero to one. So um, we can do everything that those applications do inside of a shader. All right. Cool. So. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> 